What's up, YouTube fam? It's Sparky617 here, and today we're going to be checking out a game called Republic of Pirates. Now, I want to say a quick thank you to the devs for sending over the free copy of the game. Um, I, I'm super excited. I All I can think about is Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and now I want to go play it again. Every time I think of Pirates, I think of Black Flag, and it immediately makes me want to go play it. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button. It really does help it a lot. If you dislike the game, uh, go on over to the Steam page and let the developer know why. That way they can make some improvements to the game as opposed to just disliking the video. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the campaign. So we are going to be leaving it on easy difficulty. Um, the map is Forgotten Archipelago. 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 You know what? We're rocking with Archipelago. The map is Forgotten Archipelago. Whatever. Uh, the starting island size is medium. The starting island beaches is two. So I'm assuming these maybe? Um, I don't know. These are the available material deposits. These are the conditions. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I've never played the game before, but let's just jump in. Greed. It tears us all down eventually. Heck, that's what this is all about. We rob. We plunder. We kill. All for a bit more wealth and another day of freedom. But we all know the truth. There's only one way out of this pirate life. And if it's not at the end of a rope, it's usually a shot in the back from a pistol of a crewmate. The Republic of Pirates was meant to be different. But the greed got to them too. Turning on one another like that. Damn shame what they did to your old man. And now they're carving up the archipelago between the three of their crews. Lucky Jack Howell and the self-proclaimed raiders of the Caribbean. Scar and his gallows men. And Matilda Barbero, leader of Los Guerreros. They had it all. Spanish gold by the galleon and a nice slice of the Caribbean to call home. They couldn't play nice, could they? Well, if it's revenge you want, I'm with you. I owe your old man that much. We're one ship against three fleets, but they aren't expecting us. We'll make for the archipelago and set up on an isolated island before they get wind of our intentions. Revenge for your father and the chance to build something better. Archipelago. Okay, now we know how to pronounce it. This is the archipelago, all right, but it's far too dangerous to continue Green. out in the open. Let's stick to the shallows for now. Let's sail. Wow, beautiful. And I have this um, turned down to medium, um, medium graphics. So it appears as though if I use the middle mouse and I hold it, I can turn. Um, you can't angle up or down. You can zoom. All right, let's select our ship. Oh, they're singing. Okay. Let me turn down the shanties a little bit. Okay, I just don't want the shanties to be too loud. Here we go. Oh. What's going on? Is that where I'm trying to go? Yeah, but I'm trying to get all these resources first. Adjust the zoom level. Alright. Wow, we're getting a lot of money. 2300 1500 Okay. I hope these shanties aren't copyrighted. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, we dipped! <laughs> oh, we're dipping, dude. Oh, what a bunch of idiots. Oh, what a dumbass, dude. Can we loot that? That was a close call. The archipelago's in chaos after the collapse of the Republic. We better hunker down on Galley Island for now. Come up with a plan. Let's start with a dock to house our supply. Yeah, but let's go get this ship first. 
infrastructure dock. Okay. Uh, select the building, hover over building, display information. Some buildings can only be... Okay. All right, let's get back over here, and then let's work on building this while our ship is on its way back. Oh, got a little bit of lag. Um, okay, docks are the beating heart of every settlement. Must be connected to a dock by a direct path. Oh, so these have to be placed on an exact specific spot on an island. Makes sense. Perfect. If we want to take the fight to our old companions, we'll need men. There are plenty of rough and ready types looking for work, so long as we give them somewhere to stay and something to do. All right. A hut. Zero to five huts built. Connect them to the dock via a road. Okay. Yeah, so let's just, like this says, let's just build a road to begin. Where do we want to connect the road? There's the, uh, here's the, like, door or archway. So let's go this way. And let's just go, honestly, let's just take her straight on up here. I think a road's free, so, yeah, now let's build a hut. Um, I guess it's just got to be against the road in some way. So, we'll just put the first hut here. Retrieve the debris from the sunken ship. I did that. Oh, is it mean... Oh, that wasn't the sunken ship. Oh, I thought that was the sunken ship. Okay, to access the demolished tool, or press tab to access the demolished tool. Oh, that's a cool radial menu. I don't think I've seen a lot of uh, city builders that have kind of a radial menu like that. Pick that up. I don't know why. I thought we already did, but... We've got 28,050 doubloons. That's pretty freaking good, if I do say so myself. All right, now, before we actually loot the ship, let's let's grab the little tiny scrap piles. Can we speed up the game? Um, It's not one, two, three, so I might have to click. Plunder one. Collect ten debris. Here we are. 12,000. Damn. Okay, press R to rotate during placement. New decoration figurehead. Uh, zero to one figurehead. Ah, yeah, but do we put this on the ship? Or do we just put this on land? Oh, we just put it on land. What the hell is that? Captain in wreckage. What is that? Salt deposit. Okay. Let's put a little figurehead decoration right here. Yeah, let's put it right there. So when you come in, that's what you see. Uh, we want more huts. I didn't pay attention that we need five. So then we can rotate. Ah, yeah. Oh, there's already people. Oh, I didn't realize the people just already were here. So they are little random um, buildings. I do like that. I do like that they are random. That way we don't have you know, five of the same ones side by side. All right, marketplace. Uh, certain buildings such as brothels and taverns fulfill the wants of workers in the surrounding area. The range of effect is indicated by the coloration of nearby roads when placing or selecting the building. Okay, well, I imagine this is going to be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll be perfect. We can actually probably put it up some. Yeah, let's put it up here. Salvaging materials from wrecks is good and all, but we've got plenty of resources at our fingertips on the island, too. We'll need a steady supply of wood for what's to come. Okay. Woodcutter's Lodge. And a sawmill. Okay, so construction, wood. So we get Woodcutter's Lodge, and then we also have sawmill. So let's get to Woodcutter's Lodge. Um, buildings and roads near the Woodcutter's Lodge will reduce gathering efficiency. Ah, so I see, 96%, 63. Okay, let's put it up here then. Does it have to? Yeah, it has to have a road. Uh, to produce materials, production buildings require monetary upkeep and workers of a specific tier. Important information such as worker counts is displayed at the top of the screen. The worker icons indicate the number of idle workers available for assignment to production buildings. 
Some builder uh, buildings, such as the Woodcutter's Lodge, require proximity to natural resources to gather materials, while others process one material into another. Okay, so let's build... Let's build the sawmill. Um, and we could just build the... Hold on. Let's get the road in. Um, yeah, let's just put it here. We don't want to take up the efficiency. Right, okay, production efficiency, 150%. So let's put the sawmill on the edge here. That way it's kind of close, but it's not taking up all of the uh, resources. Right, so what is the efficiency? Still 150 and 100 set a couple of the lads to moving goods from place to place. It's more efficient to dump materials at a depot so they don't have to carry them so far. Okay. So we have to build a depot now. So is that going to be... Yeah, right there. Okay. Orders distribute materials from the depots to the next point in the production chain. Depots do not increase maximum storage capacity. Okay. So let's put it facing this way. Right? Where's the, the walkway? There's one on that side and one on that side. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. We'll put it in the middle there. The more we provide for our workers, the happier they'll be. The happier they are, the more they'll contribute. Cutthroat pirates have needs too, you know. Okay. Interact with a hut and see what the workers need. Uh, the house selection menu displays a worker's needs, which provide increased income or additional workers when satisfied. So they need food. Perfect. Um, so we have amenities, which is a marketplace, which we did, and a fishing wharf. Let's put the fishing wharf... Let's just put it over here, I guess. We spotted some floating barrels not far from the coast. It might be nothing, but it could be something too. Okay, well, hold on. Let's go ahead and get a road going, and then we can check those out. Um, okay, so we'll get the road here, and, oh, we can't. That's fine, just put it there. Okay, uh, use this to rotate, press, collect to select the floating debris to be collected automatically if in range. Oh. Oh. Just the game speed in the top corner. Okay, hold on. So we just need all this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Provide workers with fish. So that should be happening soon. Um, it's not 100% efi efficiency because it doesn't have 18 to 25 workers. It's got 16 out of 25, which is fine. So, he should be grabbing these last two. Oh, that works. Well, the barrels were empty, except for a bunch of letters from the British West Indies Company about claiming some island or another. Nothing that mentions treasure. Damn. Okay. No treasure. That's fine. Um, how much fish do they need? Oh, they're getting it. Oh, our supply level needs built up. Okay, so that just takes time. Uh, depots or depots. Porters distribute materials. Yes, we know. Um, each depot has a limited number of porters. If loading slots are full, they will have to wait before making deliveries. If two buildings in a production chain are close to each other, porters will prioritize moving materials to them directly for efficiency. The production a building selection window displays the materials stored in that building and the materials in the total capacity of all islands. So, they'll most likely carry a lot of the lumber to the sawmill directly. Which is nice, because if they carry it down and if this is full, they just keep going and drop it there. And then once this is finished, they just have to literally carry it, yeah, right there like that. Perfect. Uh-oh. Oh, is that our health? Or is that somebody else's health? That's somebody else's. Ours is green. Hello? Welcome to my island. Mary Connor. Here's someone you want on your side in a fight. 
She's a tough old gal, can hold her own in a naval battle or a tavern brawl just the same. The men all look up to her. She was once at Jack's right hand. He must have done something really stupid to piss her off. Besides knocking off your old man, that is. If we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the former Republic, we could do with her directing our ships and not theirs. Yeah, new friend. John, is that you? Thank God I found you here. Jack double-crossed me. Well, I was trying to betray him first and he found out, so... Anyway, the fair lady's in a pretty bad state. Help us out, won't you? Um, deal is the only option I have. So, sure. To repair a ship, select it from the selection window when close to a dock. Oh, yeah, we have the radio menu, right? And repair. Too far. The repair cost is 1300 so you need to come over here. Yeah, and then go to the radio menu, repair. Boom. Captain, the men reported several ships heading directly for us. Oh, shit. Looks like we've been discovered. Let's put the fair lady's firepower to some use. Yep, let's do it. Oh, shit. Use the tactical map to locate the attacking ships. Uh, to open the tactical map, click on the icon in the left-hand panel. And the tactical map allows for quick navigation and high-level assessment of current landscape. There they are. I found them. All right, there's a cog and a cog. Okay. Okay, I see. Okay. Okay, pause the game. Holy shit. Fight. Go. Oh, yeah. Let's probably slow down time a little bit. Look at that. Does our other ship have... Oh, she leveled up. Any guns on it? I'm assuming not. Oh, she leveled up again. Okay, go get this loot. Thank you, yeah. Captain. I think the lads and I are in a capable pair of hands with you. We'll be staying a mite longer if you don't mind. How about a drink to celebrate living one more day, eh? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Alright, let's bring her close, and then let's go ahead and repair her ship again. There we go. Interact with the hut and see what the workers need. 40 out of 200 laborers recruited. Housing tier 1. What do you guys need? Rope? Wants sugar plantation. You want a brothel and you want rum. You need rope. Okay. So, you want rum, which we need a sugar plantation. How much... How much do we need to... Do we not need fields around this? Or do we need fields? I don't see the need for fields, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... No, let's put it... Okay, hemp plantation, rope maker... Okay, lord, lord, lord. We're getting everything all at once and it's overwhelming. Just wait a minute. Okay. I don't want to put anything near this, so I think the closest we'll go is here. So, we'll put a road going up. We will put the rum distillery here. And then the sugar plantation just past that. Oh, no fields built. We do need a field. Oh, plantation buildings are production buildings that require fields to produce materials. Place fields by selecting the icon in the building selection menu. They must be placed adjacent to the plantation building or to existing fields. Okay, so we need 72. How many is that? That's only 45. Oof. Um... What's the production on this? 60. Why? Because it only has two workers. That's fine. So long as it's not in the way. Um, I guess we just do this. Yeah. 
And then I can build two more. I really don't want to build two more. Is that good enough? I think that's good enough. No, let's do two more. We'll just put it behind the rum distillery, I suppose. Right there. All right, now that's the max amount, right? 71 out of 72? There. 72 out of 72. Okay. Um, and then here, what is the issue? Insufficient amount of materials and storage. Yeah, okay. Because this has got to... This still has to produce it. I don't like not being able to hit escape to get out of that. Um, you also want... You need rope. So we need a hemp plantation. So I'll tell you what. Let's just do that literally across the street. Right? I think that's a good idea. We'll put two plantations right across the street. Yeah. Quite honestly, I just think that's a good idea. The lovely Isabella Rojas. Cunning, pragmatic... Seductive. Everything a good madam needs to be. She worked under Jack for a long time, but he never could see past her soft skin and appreciate the tact and charm underneath. I'm glad she gave that lecherous prick a test of his own medicine. The brothel girls trust Isabella with their lives, and she does everything in her power to make them comfortable. I think she'll be invaluable to our cause. Just try not to fall for that alluring look in her eyes, you hear? All right, I'll try my best. Captain, I'm happy to make your acquaintance. My name is Isabella, and I have a proposition which might be of interest to you. I might need a little distraction, wouldn't you say? What do you have in mind? Brothel. Okay, let's, um... Okay, amenity buildings such as brothels or taverns do not produce. They meet the needs or wants. Uh, needs required to upgrade houses. Okay. Um, let's build this plantation real fast. Um, let's see. How many is that? 55. What is that one? 66. I can't build that many. Okay. Um. There? Is that, is that maxed out? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go back here and I suppose get us a brothel going. What is this? Material storage capacity breached. Okay. I keep hitting escape to do that and it, it really irritates me that I can't. Um... Let's put the brothel here on the, um, oh, we can't. Yeah, we can if we turn it that way. Okay. There we go. We got a door there and a door there. The bordello is open for one day. One oh. day. And the girl is dead. I will not stand for this. You either kill the prick who did it and make an example of him, or provide protection for the rest of the girls. Um, yeah. We we need to, yeah. He'll, he'll be made to pay publicly. We don't do that shit here. Build a skeleton cage? Holy shit! Okay. So we're leaving him out here. Wow. You know what? That's gonna be right in the entrance. You're gonna walk in our place and see, hey, fuck around and find out, right? Yeah, we're doing that. Sorry that you guys have to live next to his hanging skeleton, but you know what? It's it's just got to be... It, it, it is what it is, right? You're going to have to deal with it. Okay. Now, I think that's... That's everything, right? Because we've got the rope. We just don't have the... Hemp yet. How many people do we have? Available laborers. Negative 140. Yikes. Okay. How many total do we have? 40. Okay. You can see it shot up immediately to 24, 10 minutes in. Well, between 8 and 10 minutes in. And then between 10 minutes and 17, it shot up to 40. Yeah, so this is producing, and this should be producing too, yeah. 
It just takes time. We could also speed up time. I keep forgetting. Probably should do that. Okay. Is there anything that we can do? Yeah, you go get that. Um, let's grab that. Let's just keep an eye out for stuff on the map over here. Because, I mean, it may not be a lot. It may just be a couple things. But, like, hey, a couple things are a couple things. Yeah, I don't see anything else. That's fine. Does our dock have a health? Huh. What is our total storage capacity? 65? Ship materials, building materials, intermediary needs, needs and wants. Okay. So, this is all being met. But we can't upgrade it until we get rope, which we are getting. Our supply level is going up. Alright, so is it going to upgrade the houses automatically, or are we going to do that? I'd say we're going to do that, so let's try it. Let's uh, go to the upgrade hammer, and let's start with you. Can't upgrade. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Why? All your needs and wants are met. Upgrading house increases its income and promotes the workers to the next worker tier. To upgrade each need must be met and the worker count must be at maximum. Oh. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Supplies 100%. Marketplace 100%. Rope 100%. So, was it locked in the tutorial? I'm assuming this is damaged. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we build more housing. Um, yeah, I suppose we just build more housing. Yeah, I know they're not connected to the road. We'll get there in a second. Okay. Right, does that work? Should we connect it around? Probably. Can we move this? Um. No. We can build that. Yeah, let's just do that. That way these people don't have to walk all the way around to get to the marketplace. They can go right here. Cut through. What is that guy hauling? A log? It says material storage capacity reached, though. Upgrade building storage by five. We need 200 coins and three logs. How many? We have 65. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Let's just upgrade it. Okay, the warehouse is fully upgraded. Wait, did that visually upgrade? I didn't pay attention. Hold on. No, it did not. Okay. Can we upgrade yet? No. So we almost have enough. So we just need more huts. Are these at maximum capacity? 8, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, we're still going to need more housing. So we will go ahead and get housing here. Um, at the end of this street. There. Um... There, there. I'm trying to face them forward. As forward as forward can be. Man, this random tier wasn't very random. We got three of the same ones. Okay, um. That's gotta be enough. Because we can get, what, 16... Maybe not, to be honest. Maybe we'll be just shy. 
We'll go ahead and get like three more. And then I'm going to say that's that's enough. This will keep going. Well, let's just go ahead and do it while we're here. It's not like we're not going to need more people, so. Now this should quickly get us up to 200 workers. I like this, though. It does. It reminds me of Black Flag a lot. Um, The brothel does okay for here, but then it kind of cuts off. So we might honestly want to get another one up here. Can we build another brothel? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. And can we get a road? Yeah, going straight to the end of that. Hold on. Yeah, right there. That ends perfectly on it. And then these people are going to be happy. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So, is that... 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 8, 6, 6, 6. So, if people just move into these houses, we'll be good. But I think a quicker solution will be to build more. I think defaultly people move into these houses kind of quickly. Yeah. Yeah, see, they're moving in quickly. Way more quickly than these ones are kind of just still open. Okay. We only need three more, two more. There we go. Perfect. That Jack took a while. Knows where I am and is coming for me. I won't run away again. Let's prepare for his arrival. Oh boy, two defensive towers. All right, seafaring. Defensive tower tier one, automatically attack enemy ships in range. They must be placed along the shore. Ooh, okay. So let's get one as far over this way as we can build it. And let's get one as far over this way as we can build it. And now we need... Lucky oh, Jack shit. Owl. What a cowardly shit of a man. <laughs> if treachery and deceit wore skin, it would look like this prick. Never one to enter a fight with the odds stacked against him. He prefers to meddle from a safe distance. Jack doesn't look you in the eye when he pulls the trigger. He gets someone else to do it. Usually a friend. Even with all the crews he's double-crossed or swindled, he's somehow avoided waking up with a dagger in his eye. That's why they call him Lucky. That luck has to run out sooner or later. Okay, um, I wanted to pause the game. I didn't get to do that. Oh, my shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Are we gonna... Okay, our boat does have... Oh, my God, she's gonna sink. And there's not a damn thing we can do. No! Dude, they got my ship and her ship. What the fuck? Hey! Hey, yo! Our damn towers didn't even do anything! Well, well, don't you look familiar. I'm sorry for what happened to your father. Awful accident, that. Don't let it put any silly ideas like revenge in your head. This archipelago is ours. Make any trouble, and something might just happen to you, too. Oof, I don't like this guy. His Stop. voice is irritating. There's no avoiding it. Jack knows we're here. The way I see it, we either pack up and leave, or we pick up the pieces, repair our fleet, and take the fight to the bastards that wronged us twice. What's it gonna be, Captain? Oh, we're going to repair. Build up. Hell yeah. Okay, shipyard. Yep, now we can build a shipyard. Let's see. Captain's Inn, which is up here. Yeah. In a shipyard. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a very, very large ass building. Um let's get it going here. Shipyards enable the manufacturing of new ships. 
Customize the ship's class and appearance, then assign an available captain. The captain assigned to a ship during its creation cannot be replaced. Okay. Good to know. Cotton plantation, perfect. So we need to build one ship. Okay, I just do start construction. What kind of ship do we want? She, I want a freaking frigate. But we don't have cannons or anything. We also don't have any sails. Okay, so that's what we need the cotton for. I'm assuming... What is this? Captains and eligible pirate captains can be recruited at Captain Inns. The total number of pirate captains is displayed here. They must be placed on the wreckages. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I was kind of... I was kind of wondering once I saw the wreckage... Any captain worth why. their salt will be at the Captain's Inn. Feel free to pick the captain you like the look of. Just remember, you can't have them all. Okay. Um, yeah, but let's get a road. Hold on. Um, how wide are these houses? One, two, three. So we're gonna have one, two, three, and then we'll cut it here. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Boom. New captains have arrived. Increased performance when assigned to a cog catch or barque. Oh, this guy looks so strong. Oh, we're going him. We've got to. Look at that. Look at this man. Oh, these are level four, though. I don't even care. This guy looks like Blackbeard, basically. But brown hair. Okay. Okay. We can't build a ship yet, though, because we need, um, yeah, cotton and a sailmaker. So, can we honestly get the sailmaker? Let's do this. I have an idea. Let's get the cotton plantation down here. I know this, I know what I'm doing right here is probably just for decoration. I don't care. Um... And let's plant some cotton. Okay, how many more can we build? Yeah. And then let's get the sailmaker. Perfect. Yeah, right here by the ships. Why not? I mean, in reality, it's kind of a weird place to put a workforce and a plantation. But I think it's going to be convenient. Um, I also think pirates wouldn't really give a shit what's put where. So long as they have a brothel, rum, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this video is actually going quite long. Um, this is Republic of Pirates. If you guys want to grab the game for yourself, down in the description below is a link to the Steam page. Um, once again, thank you to the dev for sending over the free copy for us to check out. I really enjoy this. Um, we could definitely play more if you guys want. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video and you have yet to do so, hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. If you're new, welcome onto the channel. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can see when we go live or post a video in the future. If you guys disliked the game, head on over to the Steam page link in the description. Let the developer know why so they can make some improvements to their game uh, as opposed to just disliking the video. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, have a great morning, have a great night, have a great evening, have a great afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are at in the world. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.